and even the boxing champ who pitches a lean, mean grilling machine. So if you recognize any of those things or those names, you got a quick lesson in licensing and branding. And Mandalay Bay is ground zero for a convention on brand expansion. And we sent Gabby Hart out there, who is a brand unto her <laughs> When you hear someone say licensing expo, it might sound a bit boring at first, right? Wrong. Take a look around me at just how colorful and vibrant this place is. And then I've got some special guests for our viewers and everybody in the studio. Take a look at these fun, lively characters right here. They're dancing. This is what exhibitors are using to pull people into their booths. But as cute as this might be, as fun as it might be, as much as it might make you smile, this expo really is all about business opportunities. Las Vegas Licensing Expo has been up and running for nearly 40 years. And not only does two-time heavyweight champion George Foreman vouch for the expo, it's where he debuted one of his most infamous products. It was 1994. I came to the same convention talking about a grill, a George Foreman grill. Now he's at the 2019 Expo advocating for a brand called Invent Help that teaches people how to get an invention idea off the ground. Everybody's out there. How can I be another George Foreman? Lay down, go to sleep, think of an invention. And this is the way you can get it announced to the world, invent help. That's just one of the many things to be learned at this expo. To the conversation between the brand owner and the manufacturer and the retailer to bring those products to market, those conversations are happening right here, right now at Licensing Expo. Companies, brands, and manufacturers from all over the world gathered at Mandalay Bay to make their brands and logos see. <laughs> from Baby Shark, Angry Birds, Disney and Nickelodeon characters, to video games, clothing brands, and so much more. From different continents, Latin America, Europe, US. So it's very important for us to come here, have a booth, and be able to meet everybody from the international market. This expo is an opportunity for people who want to use these characters and logos to sit down and work out licensing agreements. It's also a chance for logo and brand owners to diversify their product line. I think that anyone that creates something, especially content creators, whether it's cartoons or TV shows, things like that, I think this is the kind of place to get that out. Now this expo continues until tomorrow, through tomorrow that is, so there's still time for you to get down here and check it out. And if you miss it this year, no worries, it'll be back next year. For now, I'm reporting from Mandalay Bay with some very cool friends. I'm Gabby Hart, News 3. Cool efforts.